Within the past 30 years, childhood obesity has more than quadrupled in children and adolescents within the United States. Obese children are an extreme high risk for immediate and long-term health effects. Overweight and obese children aren't only influenced by the abundance of fast food, but also little things like vending machines that they have access to every day at school. Across the country, vending machines in middle schools, high schools, and sometimes even elementary schools can impact a child's performance, focus, and alertness while in class. These sweet-filled machines also have very harsh effects on their health, which may result in future problems for them. According to the Mayo Clinic, everyday children ages 8 through 13 should be consuming around 6 ounces of protein, 1.5 to 2 cups of fruit, 3 cups of vegetables, 7 ounces of grains, and 2.5 to 3 cups of dairy. Unfortunately, vending machines almost never meet the criteria for their food and snacks to be considered healthy for the children. A congee ball. Gittles. Cheetos. Fritos. Typically, people first think of the snacks and fatty foods and beverages that are found within vending machines, and that's because the majority of them only consist of that type of food. A 2013-2014 assessment of 106 middle schools and high schools was conducted. According to the Journal of School Health, the test shows the extent to which the products and vending machines meet the criteria of beverages, fat, and calories, based on selected criteria offered by the Institute of Medicine. Within these schools, researchers found that there is 5,085 food and 8,442 beverage products offered. The conclusion of this study stated that overall, the beverages and foods held in school vending machines continue to yield high results in fat and calories. They have also said that public schools tend to provide children with healthier food as opposed to private schools. Typically, a child who is offered a water or a soda would automatically look towards the soda because they aren't caught up in the effects that these decisions can have on them long term. They consume what they want with no concern about it. Children need to be better educated on health risks that could potentially affect them in the future and ways that these can be prevented. Placing vending machines in schools doesn't discourage the unhealthy eating children participating. In order to keep adolescents healthy and able to perform to their fullest potential, certain types of food and vending machines such as soft drinks, chips, and sweets need to be eliminated to student access during school hours. In a study done by the Journal of Adolescence Health in 2005-2006, researchers concluded younger grades school vending machines were either positively or negatively related to the diets of the students depending on what was sold in them. If sodas and snacks were sold in them, the students' health would negatively be affected by this. Since schools are very powerful in the position to influence children's eating habits and behavior, it is necessary to do whatever is possible to improve their diets. Today, research suggests that with the typical American childhood diet, such as sweets, chips, and soda, negatively affects school performance and learning ability. For example, America is far behind in math performance compared to many other developed countries. The nutrient-poor American diet is believed to be a huge contributing factor to this problem. It's necessary for parents to give their children and adolescents the right raw materials which enable their brain to learn. If they are fed unhealthy food at a young age, they will turn into unhealthy teenagers and in time into unhealthy adults. Feeding children properly in early childhood will enable the child's brain to grow to its fullest potential. The nutrition and food given to children creates long-term effects because these help to provide for the building blocks to construct the growing brain. The first step to solving the issue that children tend to abuse vending machines when their parents aren't around is to recognize that there is in fact a problem. The solution is simple. For those schools who carry vending machines and don't wish to get rid of them, they can diminish the impact on children's performance during school by shutting them off during school hours. Other possible solutions are completely eliminating vending machines during schools or educating children more on how to eat healthy to encourage smarter eating habits and healthier choices. The current children are our next and upcoming generations, so their education and health are extremely essential for the rest of society. It's important for them to learn early and not to be subject to temptations in school to eat unhealthy.